Yo, what is up guys, Oscar with a new video. And this is gonna be discussing um wildcard weekend prime time prime target rather the playlist is going to be back. Um you know I have apologized for not keeping up with it, it's just that you know try and do pick between video and live stream and um picking videos that are actually or picking prime time games that are actually pretty decent. Um, you know, it was really hard, but with the playoffs now back in full swing, the playoffs are here. And even though the Washington football team didn't make it the playoffs, I decided, you know, what better way um, to start my off season or start, you know, my off season videos with, you know, discussing other teams, you know, breaking down each team, you know, that are in the playoffs. So, you know, expand the fan base, you know, things like that. So, you know. Prime Target is back uh, for the playoffs, and obviously, you know, we got six games. Yeah, six games um, for Wild Card Weekend. Um, so I'm going to break them down. Uh, I'm going to discuss, you know, my predictions, who's walking out of that game, and why. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first game, uh, Bills versus Patriots. This one's going to be a hard one to figure out. Um, by the way, m almost all the games, with the exception of the Cowboys 49er games, or the 40 Cowboy 49er game, all of them are all rematches from the regular season. So, you know, that's a fun fact right there that, um, you know, mostly, you know, five out of the six games are all rematches from the regular season. So, um, anyways, back to, uh, so it's going to be fir first game, like I said, Patriots, Bills, um, I like the Bills, the Patriots, the beginning of the season was really hard for me to get convinced that they're actually legit, like they had me thinking that Bill Belichick needed Tom Brady, but then they went on like this huge win streak, and um, you know, they were able to get themselves into playoff position, but Josh Allen at the same time, when it counts the most... He isn't, you know, he isn't that clutch quarterback. Like, there were games that he should have won. There were games that you were like, what the heck? Why did you lose that game? Like, for example, um, when he lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Like, what the heck? So, um, this one's going to be a hard one to, to, to mull over. But I'm still not a fan of the Patriots just because of the history with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. So... Because I don't like the Patriots, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Bills. Um, I, I I'm gonna go ahead take the Bills to win this one. Move on to the next round. Um, next game, Bengals versus Raiders. The Raiders coming off of a a thriller. Um, this past Sunday night. Uh, you know, go ahead and I'm, I'll put the the live stream in the cards so make sure you guys check that live stream out um jason and i we actually thought that within the hour because we were live and the raiders were just dominating the game um you know we actually thought that we were just gonna get let off like maybe after an hour and 15 minutes and i was about to hit the goodbye button but for some weird reason when the when the Chargers scored that late touchdown, I was like, all right, you know what? Nope, something's going to happen where this game is going to go into overtime. And it was a thriller. You know, Justin Herbert did what he could. Wasn't enough. But um, congratulations, I guess, goes to the Raiders. Even though I really wanted the um, Chargers to, to go to the playoffs. Because I just, I, I like Justin Herbert. Uh, I grew up watching the Chargers as well. I remember when I was a kid. Um, when my family would be out, you know, when my parents would be out, I used to like sneak into their bedroom to watch uh, the Chargers play on Sunday Night Football a couple of times. So, um, so yeah, um, fond memories. Philip Rivers, I also you know liked Philip Rivers as well. Um, so, but here we are, Raiders, Bengals. Um, this one's gonna be a tough one because the Raiders. Haven't won a playoff game since, what, their Super Bowl, when they went to the Super Bowl that one year? 
And that was like, what, 2002 or 2003 or something like that? Um, the last time they went to the playoffs, Derek Carr wasn't in there. Um, so basically, he, you know, he led them to the playoffs but got hurt. So, hmm, who, the Bengals also haven't won a playoff game since 1990. So that, 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 they've been to the playoffs. In fact, the last playoff I think that I remembered watching was that dirty playoff when they played the Pittsburgh Steelers when, you know, um, Perfect, I think, what was his name, Jer Jeremy Perfect or something like that, or James Perfect, something like that. Um, just, you know, was beating up on the Steelers. The fans were actually throwing things on the field as well. They were throwing things on Ben Roethlisberger's, you know. So, you know, that's my fondest uh, Bengals memory. Um, who do I have? I don't trust... The Raiders are good. You know, they... they I got to give them credit where credit is due. Even though Jason Alamillo um, probably won't think so. Um, they they have a four-game winning streak. You know, they got hot at the right time after having that huge letdown against Washington. They come away with four straight wins and, and important wins nonetheless. I'm going to say... Give me the Raiders. Give me the Raiders. Um, I, I don't trust. I don't know why the Bengals are the Bengals. I don't trust them. Even if they have Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, you know, Jamar Chase, I just don't trust the Bengals. You know, they've had solid teams and they get knocked out in the first round of the playoffs anyway. So you know what? Give me the Bengals to 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 lose this one. I say the Raiders come out victorious. So those are the, that's the Saturday. Those are the Saturday games. So let's move on to the Sunday games. Um, the Sunday games, the order, please forgive me if I mess up the order, but I think that the first game on Sunday is the Eagles versus the Buccaneers. This game is going to be the lesser of two evils for me because I really don't like the Eagles and I really don't like, the reason why I don't like the Buccaneers is the sole reason, you know, Tom Brady's on that team and I really, really don't like Tom Brady. I don't think he's the greatest quarterback of all time. You guys can debate me on my channel if you want to. Um... Jason and, and I, Jason and I, you know, disagree on a lot of things, but I think we agree we agree on that Tom Brady is not the greatest quarterback of all time. He's a cheater. You know, you're going to say, "Oh, well, he won last year without cheating. He won three other three other Super Bowls without cheating." I don't care. Um, you got caught cheating twice. Okay. You cheated once, whatever. Everyone, you know, everyone, bad to say, but we live in the real world. Again, you know, I'm ashamed to say I got caught cheating on a test once. So, you you got caught cheating once, whatever. You know, do your best to to adjust that. Re fix your rep. But for you to be caught, get caught cheating twice, whatever. You, you know, that that's just, no. No. Um, no excuse there. So... Um, I really, I, oh man, um, I really don't like the Eagles, um, either, but funny enough, when it was the Super Bowl versus the Eagles and the Patriots, I was rooting for the Eagles. Now, realistically, I don't think the Eagles have a chance, to be honest. I don't care if Tom Brady is missing, you know, weapons, I don't care. He'll find a way. Somehow he finds a way. He buys off the refs, you know, whatever. Um, you know, to give him calls that he doesn't deserve. He cries, you know, whatever. Um, but realistically, I'm going to have to go with the Buccaneers. Hoping that the Buccaneers get knocked down in the next round. So give me the Buccaneers to... Beat the Eagles, as painful as that is. Because, to be honest, like I said, the Eagles, I would love the Eagles to win, but let's be realistic. I don't really think that they, they can win. You guys can debate me on that if you guys want to. Um, so, yeah. Give me the Buccaneers to win this game. Next up, 
Cowboys 49ers. This one's a tough one. Just because I don't like the Cowboys either. But I gotta respect them. Um, you know. Their offense, you know, is okay, I guess. Their defense is scary. The 49ers, their offense is okay. They just got, you know, the, that quarterback conundrum with Jimmy Garoppolo and uh, Trey Lance. I don't see much of Trey Lance to judge if he's good or not. Um, but Jimmy Garoppolo, he has his good games and he has his bad games. Like, for example, this past Sunday, he had one of his good games. And then there were some games earlier this season, you're like, really, dude? You do that type, you know, you do that, to those things. So, I'm going to go with the Cowboys to win this one. For the sole purposes, they got the better, they got the better quarterback. Um, You know, they got the better quarterback. And in my opinion, they got the better defense. Um, their defense is going to make a difference in this game. And, and the 49ers, their defense is actually pretty good and pretty solid. But the Cowboys are just a, ta a little better. Uh, their defense is a little better. And they got the better quarterback in my opinion. Um, next up, Sunday night. Chiefs. Chiefs taking on the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. This one's an easy one. I'm going with the Chiefs. Um, the Steelers... You know, Ben Roethlisberger, I, I grew up watching the Steelers as well. That's another team that I grew up watching. Um, in fact, my dad is a is a Steelers fan uh, himself. But, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, he's not the Ben Roethlisberger of old. You know, he's not Big Ben. You know, he can't make the big throws anymore. He throws like five yards here, five he, He's a ding and dunk guy now. He had, you know, the Steelers rely on their run game. And the Chiefs, you know, uh, front four is actually pretty decent. Frank Clark, um, Chris Chris Jones, you know, those guys are actually pretty good. And then the secondary is okay-ish. Um, they were very bad at the beginning of the season, but they finally, you know, started to click. So I honestly think that the Chiefs are going to blow out the Steelers here. Um, give, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, congratulations on getting your team to the playoffs for your last ride here because you're you're retiring so i gotta congratulate you on you know a job well done so but realistically chiefs are gonna win this game um in my opinion so let's go ahead i'll give the chiefs the win here and then finally monday night rams uh cardinals division rivals squaring off in the wild card round um this one's a tough one because both teams are coming off losses. Uh, the Rams blew a 17-point lead against the 49ers, and they lost. And the Rams got beaten down by the Cardinals before. So, and that was on a Monday night too, I think. Matthew Stafford, I think, was too overhyped at the beginning of the season because I remember the Rams... You know, when they went on their, their road, they're like, oh my gosh, no one's going to stop Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is the key thing that's keeping the Rams from going to the Super Bowl. Okay, but, you know, he sputtered and he, you know, had a four, I think he had like a, what, three game losing streak in the season? So, there you go. Uh, the Cardinals the same. The Cardinals started off hot. They went, they started like off like what, 6-0, and 7-0, and something like that. And then, you know, late November, early December, they went on a mini losing losing streak themselves. Uh, they lost to the Raiders. They, you know, the, they lost to, no, not the Raiders, the Colts. They lost to the Colts. What the heck, man? Um, You lose to Carson Wentz, are you kidding me? Um, They barely... Beat the Cowboys, and this is that you know they had referee scrutiny. Screw the Cowboys out of that game. They lost to the Seahawks. Are you kidding me? You lost to the Seahawks, a team that's drafting drafting in the top ten. Really? Um. So you know, Kyler Murray is overhyped. You know, don't give me the he's missing weapons speech. I don't care. Um. You know, Tom Brady's missing weapons, and he's he's you know making do with what he got. So you know, as much as much crap I'm giving Tom Brady, you know, he's making things happen with the weapons and his, and the refs. 
So, I don't care. Um, this one's a tough one. But I do think that the Rams are the better team. They have the better defense. They have the better offense. If, uh, you know, Matthew Stafford doesn't make stupid mistakes. Uh, you know, Kyler Murray, you know, is too small. Sometimes has trouble reading, you know, and throwing. So, give me the Rams to win this, to move on to the next round. So, alrighty, y'all. Um, that'll do it for this video. Those are my playoff predictions. Like I said, you all can debate me on my picks um, in the comments. If you guys want to be a guest on my channel, um, I haven't decided. I'm thinking of doing one of the games as a, as a live stream. I have to check that out, though, because I'm not really sure yet. Um, maybe it's going to be all videos. And maybe I'll do live streams once. Uh, I'll do a live stream once. They're in the divisional round. NFC and AFC championships. So. Yeah. Um, but you know. Just look out for videos. For me covering the playoffs. You know maybe I'll do a live stream. Haven't made up my mind. But already y'all. If you guys like NFL content. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. Because you know that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, right now. Uh, I'll be also doing some Washington football team content here soon. Uh, I'm getting some notes together so I can get some off-season content ready for y'all, for my Washington football team viewers. But that'll do it, guys. All right, hit that sub button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Comment and turn on that post notification bell so that way you know when I drop a new video. Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.